This is a land full of contradictions, but in which you can feel that ultimately beauty always manages to withstand the test of time, despite the hardships. These were the words of Giovanni Cacamo during perhaps the most interesting part of his series of live at home concerts. The Sicilian singer songwriter, winner of the San Remo Youth Competition, also came to Jerusalem. It was his first time in the Holy Land, and on the days preceding his concert, he was accompanied by Tuscan friar, brother Matteo Brena. They saw the beauty of these places and also the social project of the custody that support the local communities. This was a first hand opportunity for the singer to see all of the contradictions that exist in this land of conflict. Siamo stati nel centro per anziani della società antoniana e we were at the Antonian Society Center for the Elderly, seeing the sisters who are devoted to the welfare of these elderly people who look so helpless, thinking that if these people did not have the opportunity to be here and to be cared for, they would maybe be on the street or alone. It really makes you think. This was the most touching moment for me. Fa riflettere, quindi di, di, quello è stato il, il momento più toccante per me, più significativo. Still moved by the beauty and the suffering he witnessed, the young singer who was discovered by Franco Battiati performed on Thursday evening before an audience of 80 people. The picturesque backdrop to the event was the Franciscan Monastery of Saint Saviour in the Holy City. An hour of songs with piano accompaniment. Kakamo's great successes, along with some international cover songs, transformed the concert into an intimate, familiar event. And it does not end here, since it is impossible to forget the suffering of those who have always lived in this holy and tormented land. Giovanni saw and cannot forget the faces and the gazes of the Christians of Bethlehem and Jerusalem. As part of this Key Perte tour, there will be a concert on June the 7th at the Le Laudi Theatre in Florence, and the proceeds from ticket sales will be totally donated to one of the projects of the custody of the Holy Land.